Hey guys, welcome to the Crown Chakra Tarot Reading. This is a collective reading to see where we're at as a collective with our Crown Chakras. I'm super excited to see what's going to come out today. If you guys have not caught it, make sure you guys go check out today's video for the Crown Chakra and connecting with your Crown Chakra. This 30-day challenge is going to be incredible and amazing. If you guys connect and commit to it, you are going to see some massive changes in your life, in your energetic field, and the way that you approach yourself on this journey. And that's what it's all about, guys healing and getting you back onto your path of purpose and finding enlightenment and enlightenment is a lifetime uh, journey but this is just something that can really help give you the tools that you need to get to the next level okay I already shuffled both decks here guys uh, I just wanted to come on and get the cards out so let's get started and not waste any time source what messages do you have for the collective in regards to the crown chakra wow okay thank you what other messages do you have for the collective in regards to their crown chakra source? Messages for the collective, thank you. Messages for the collective in regards to their crown chakra source. Okay, I love when cards come out like that. So easy. All right, we're going to get one of the cosmic reading cards here. These are connected with your chakras and also self-love, right? So... What oracle card does the collective need in regards to their crown chakra source? Oracle card for the collective. Thank you. All right. We'll read this at the end, guys. I don't know what any of your cards are. They're all face down. So let's get into it and see what's going on. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot of upset across the collective in regards to their, especially their crown chakra, but into all their chakras right now. I feel like there's a massive healing. No wonder I was channeled to do this healing cert, uh, for you guys because there's a necessary need to heal because I think through everything that we've been through, just as a whole, especially in the last few years, it has really disconnected us from our journeys, from ourselves, and from maybe connecting with Source in a much more profound way, okay? There is something here that you guys don't want to deal with, though, and that's been coming through. That's something that's been true in all the readings so far on this journey. So I feel like if you guys haven't caught the other readings, you can catch those whenever. However, the the journey, the challenge, make sure you stick with the day that those came out, okay? Um, and that doesn't matter if that's a year from now, 10 years from now, just whatever day they came out on, make sure you guys... Uh, focus on that chakra on that day okay but I feel like overall there's something here that you don't want to tell yourself there's something here that you don't want to see I feel like in a way you've cut yourself off from seeing your own internal truth okay and there's this is because there's some kind of anger that has carried over from your past life and that means whether you believe in reincarnation or not, it doesn't matter. Your past life could just be the life that you lived as a child. That's in the past, right? But it is something that happened when you were very young. And it impacted you. And it has changed the way that you see the world. Like, you see the world from this very limited perspective. You see the world from this limited view. And this idea that nothing is going to work out for you. It's a very mind uh, place to be in. Like, this is all in your mind. And they're being very, very strict about that right now. It's This is not even uh, something that's going on with you feeling-wise. This is literally a belief that you've created, you live by in your mind. So whether that's the divine doesn't exist, whether that is that you'll never be successful in life, whether that's you don't deserve success, you're not worthy of anything of good, maybe your life feels like it's always falling apart. You're saying this is all in your mind. This is your thoughts or things, your belief. You're not allowing yourself to experience positive thoughts because it's, there's this energy of when you experience positivity, it's almost like, yeah, it might last for a little while, but then something happens. And it's because that's something that happens that really just kicks you back rather than understanding or seeing that even though you're on the positive journey, that does not guarantee that you're going to be positive 100% of the time. And that's such a misconception with this journey. Just because you're on the path of positivity doesn't mean that life doesn't happen. Life is still going to happen. And it's almost as though there's this belief that's falling here that's saying that, well, if I can't be positive a 1,000% of the time, 
then what's the point? It's like, I just want to be happy. Well, happiness is more than just being positive, right? Happiness is finding content with what is. And that has to do with Santosha. And that is a concept in yoga of really, truly finding acceptance with the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly, the wanted and the unwanted. And, and that's something that I feel a lot of people have a hard time with because when things go south, it's like, oh, I did something wrong. The only reason life is messing up is because I did something wrong. Or on the other side, it's because somebody else affected your life. It was their fault. It was their actions. It was who they are. It was because they did this and not wanting to take accountability. Accountability does not mean assuming blame. Accountability means saying, that's out of my control. What is within my control? I am. And so source and your crown chakra here, and this is really, really a message from source because the crown chakra is a connection to the divine, to source, saying that no matter what source brings to you that tries to show you that there's this connection, it's almost like these, I keep seeing this roller coaster going up, like up, 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 and then crashing down, up, 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 crashing down, and there's nothing leveling out for you. You know, and that's really how this journey begins. You have really high highs, but equally so, you have really low lows. And you go through this constant up and down until things start to smooth out. But right now, it's like you guys are in this very much like steep incline, steep decline, steep incline, steep decline. And it's like this high high and low low is creating resistance to the journey and there's almost like this internal belief that has been created saying that this must just how be how it is so why am i going to experience really high highs and really low lows when all along i could just be upset and depressed and whatever and stay in a low vibration at least it's consistent right and and source is saying here like we're we're trying to lead you into a stable place but in order to get to stability you have to go through and when we talk about going through, that's going through the storm. I feel like there is a part of you that is kind of addicted to this uh, ups and downs in life, too. It's almost like if life starts to even out, there may be a belief within you that begins to create some sort of chaos because you're so used to those ups and downs with people, with situations. So, you know, like this could be in a love relationship where you guys have really good goods and everything is great and you feel so wonderful on top of the world, but then something will tip the scale and then you guys will go into this place of arguing and it's terrible and you guys leave each other speechless and hurt and heartbroken and you're crying and it's like, I can't even deal with this, but here I am. And you're like, that's the kind of energy that you're so used to. But to go through that with the positive journey and with changing your mindset, it's like, oh, so I got to deal with this here too. So that's what they're talking about going through it is because you guys have to learn why do you have these really high highs emotionally and why do you go down into the dumps, into these low lows when, you know, why is that? Why is that something that is mirrored in your life constantly? With friends, with family, with coworkers, with jobs, a lot of drama, right? Like, like, and you could be like, I don't like drama. That's fine. Most of us don't like drama, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't find us in some way, shape, or form, right? Because to be human means to create drama. Like, there's no way of getting around it. Because there's always he said, she said, there's two sides to the same coin. There's places that people don't want to look at. And right now I'm being shown this image of a penny that's standing upright on a table. Okay, like, here, let me use my obsidian. You have, you have this, but what do you see? You guys see this side, right? I don't see this side. Yes, I do because of the camera, but in life, I wouldn't see this side. I see my side, okay? So imagine if your side has blame... My side has guilt. You don't see the guilt, but you see the blame. So you're taking it personal. Well, they're all blaming me. Well, this other person is dealing with the other side of that, which is guilt, and you're not seeing that. That's what they're showing me right now. So there's this energy of not realizing that there are two sides to every situation. It's more or less this, 
this need, this want to be right or to be the victim and to always say like, well, I'm the victim, so I'm always going to stay the victim. And, and that comes from being put in very awkward situations as a child, indecisive situations. These are like back and forth situations. So maybe you guys were lifted up by your caregivers and then suddenly when you were really feeling good, like they cut you down and it really made this unstable emotional situation for you where you feel like the only way to protect yourself is to be in that victim mindset and understanding too that when that happened, so I'm getting that this could have happened while you were a young adult. So, so I feel like this is adolescence, honestly. I feel like this is from the ages of like 13 to 19. Like that's the ages that I'm getting here. It's like, again, it's like you're coming into your adulthood when you really need to be nurtured into understanding how to use your emotions in the real world. And you guys weren't nurtured. Like that's not how your parents came to you is like basically I'm big and you're small. I'm right and you're wrong. Like, that's the energy that I keep feeling here. And, and you have taken that on. Like, oh, I'm small. I don't deserve to be seen. Oh, I'm wrong. So I deserve to blame myself. Do you see what I'm saying? And there's this need to constantly defend yourself from all of life because it feels like me against the world. And so Source and your crown chakra are trying to even things out, saying there's just a need to shift your perspective here. You can turn all of this around and you will gain clarity on the situation. Source will gift you clarity on the situation if you choose to look at it from an entirely different way. If your parents or your caregivers treated you like that, well, equally so, that means that they were doing the best that they could with what they knew. So what did they know? That's how they were treated. And so that's how they pass that on to you. It's not like it's anybody's fault. Nobody did it to you because of spite, like in spite of your existence. Nobody did it because it was you, right? Like that's what they're trying to say. They did it because that's what they knew. Equally so, if these are people in your life, can you put yourself in their shoes for just a minute, pulling yourself up out of your situation and seeing it from their side? Can you see things from my side? right? You have blame, but I have guilt. Can you come on this side and look at guilt and allow that to change your perspective? You know, the other thing too is a six and a nine. If I draw a six, let me get a piece of paper here, guys. Do I have a, an empty piece of paper? Let me have one, one piece of paper. Here, I'll do it on here. Okay. I draw a six. See if I can darken that so you guys can see it. Okay. There's a six there, right? However, if this was flat, I see six or you see six, but I see nine. Okay. Same thing. Okay. You have a three right here, but whoever's standing here sees, right? I see a three. But when I turn it this way, I see a W or an E. So it's the same thing. It just depends on what side you're on. I see a three. This way, I see an E. Do you see what I'm saying? Perspective is everything, but people don't want to accept that. It's like, oh, no, no. It's my way or the highway. way I think is the only way. That's the right way. And it's not to say that how you think is wrong. It has nothing to say with that. It's just asking, can you guys walk around the paper. Can you walk around the coin? Can you come to the other side and see that there's something else here? Because once you do, Source is going to offer you this gift of knowing, okay? And, and I hear some of you guys already, why don't I just get that? Because you're not putting in the work. It's not that Source isn't gifting you this knowing already. In fact, I feel like Source is giving you signs about what's going on with the situation and where you need to heal, okay? The problem is, is because you're seeing this from a very closed off perspective and a very, it's like being put in a box. You're not able to see outside the box when you're in the box, right? You see the four walls of the box and that's it. You're not opening the lid to see that there's a whole nother world out there. So is that really anybody's fault except for yours? And it's like, well, somebody should come and open the box, but there's nobody around but you, right? If you haven't tested the corners, the sides, the top and the bottom of the box, and that's what they're saying here. If you haven't tested the corners, the sides, the bottom, and the top of your mind, your thinking, 
whose fault is that? And it's not really about whose fault, but who can take accountability for that? It's you. You're the only one that can push the boundaries of your mind. People can give you gifts of wisdom, but it's really up to you to see that from a different place. Okay, what do we got on the bottom? Yeah, okay. So they're trying to bring you into a place. This is interesting. I shuffled these so crazy, and I got the same two cards as yesterday. They're trying to bring you into a bigger place of thinking so that you guys can learn what equal give and take is, which means not to be the pushover and not to be the doormat in somebody's life and not to be the one that's always giving and never receiving or likewise to be the one that's always receiving and never giving right because we do have both may I please get some guidance for the collective in regards to their crown chakra source oh, okay they said shuffle thank you source may I please have some guidance and advice for the collective in regards to the crown chakra. Guidance for the collective in regards to their clown, their, their clown, their clown chakra. Some of you guys may be clowning around. <laughs> All right, some advice for the collective. Thank you. Okay. What else for the collective with their crown chakra? What do they need to know, Source? What messages can you give to them? Okay, well, I only wanted two cards, but they threw out a group of cards here. Okay. So let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this definitely has to do with your spiritual journey. With the ability to find connection with somebody. Oh, I love this. Finally, a positive message here, guys. Finally shedding light on the situation as a whole right we've got the we've got all three of these cards in the upright talking about really connecting with yourself on a different level this is an internal level seeing that you are the one that can bring luck change into your life and complete the cycle this is about getting connected with your path of purpose guys we have 10 10 coming out here together and so this is about you guys connecting with your path of purpose and truly owning your journey you know with my son card here we have this energy of connecting with your higher self. You know, you can look at this as a child, your inner child. You can look at this as your higher self. You can look at this as really just connecting with the part of you that maybe you've been denying for so long and shining a light on that. You know, and there's this barrier that's holding you back, but the barrier feels like it's 10 feet tall, when in reality it's not. It's just something that you need to step over, right? The box, it seems impossible to win against the box when it's not. You just need to push up expand your thoughts expand your thinking come out of it and what's going to end up happening is is i feel like whoever is causing this trigger in your life you guys are actually going to become a lot closer more connected and you guys are going to be able to traverse life in a way that maybe you felt like you couldn't before and this is going to bring you into a much more stable place emotionally and physically and mentally and spiritually yeah so there's a lot of peer pressure around you right now this could be somebody that is a romantic interest for you but it's definitely because of repressed emotions here that you're not able to connect with them on a deeper level and they're showing me here that you've had a lot of one-sided loves in your life so i feel like this is that past energy coming through it's like if you give too much of yourself why, why do you give too much to yourself? Why do you give everything you have without seeing if this person has true intentions? And it's interesting because we have five, six that came out with the coins. Look, guys, and like I said, I don't read right or wait tarot. So if you guys notice different meanings or different uh, connections to the cards, it is because these cards do not follow the right or wait Smith tarot, okay? These are very intuitive cards. They don't have images on them like the right or wait. But look at what came out, and I'm going to show you the way that it came out. The six of coins and the five of coins came out together, okay? And this is talking about finding equal give and take and really growing outside of that box, okay? Growing outside of the norm and letting opportunities come to you. Then on the bottom, and this is an upright and a reversal. Actually, they're both upright here. They're both upright. Now look at what came out on the bottom of the deck after I shuffled, we have the five of cups and the six of cups, both in the reverse. We're talking about here, not being able to network in a way that is substantially 
connected and available to you in a way that you can build your friendships, right? Because of brokenheartedness. And there's a lot more to it than this, but that is really just a generic meaning here. So isn't that interesting that right off the bat, we have mirrored energies that are coming out on the bottom and it's just simply asking you to do this. And I love that because if you guys follow the challenge, then you know that this is a confirmation of what was said in the challenge today, mirroring numbers. So we have five or six, five and five, six, right? So maybe you see 65, 56 a lot. Or maybe you see 666 and 555 or you see 1010 a lot. Okay, these are just numbers that are coming through here. And I'm glad that that happened. Like I love that Source said to shuffle. You guys saw it on here. I heard shuffle and so I had to shuffle. And I love this. This is such a beautiful confirmation. Let's get further into your Oracle card here and see what's coming out. Yes, we have the number 34 coming through, which is 7. And 7 is all about luck. But you're the one that brings luck if you change what it is that you're doing, how you're thinking, how you're approaching life. We have unconditional love coming through here. Look at this. Activation of your higher chakras here. Activation of your heart chakra. This is about connecting with the being that we are. And I love the confirmation from this as well because we did talk about our divine essence in the challenge today. Okay? If you guys aren't on the challenge I mean, if you want to, if you're interested in reconnecting with your higher purpose and really healing yourself in the next 30 days, check it out. Don't feel bad. Today is Tuesday. So Tuesday is connected with the crown chakra. I don't explain that just yet. I will get into that as we go further in. Um, the path we seek is often very rarely a straight line. Very rare. Excuse me. It is very rarely a straight line. Okay, so... There's a purpose to why I have them out. So Tuesday is Crown Chakra Day. So if you guys aren't here on a Tuesday, check out the Crown Chakra that was posted today, okay? The ultimate lesson of all of us have that all of us have to learn is unconditional love, which includes not only others, but ourselves as well. This is Elizabeth Kubler Ross. So we have you have a choice between two doors. What's I talking about? Opening the door, staying in the box, right? Opening the lid or staying in the box. You have unconditional love and conditional love. Unconditional love is to love without judgment, conditions, expectations, and demands. It is love that stems from the heart space and is comprised completely of pure love, forgiveness, and compassion. Conditional love is to love with, condi with conditions, expectations, attachments, fears, and judgment. Love is given and received freely as long as the condition of love, con of the conditions of the love contract are being met. When others fail to meet the requirements of the love contract, love is lost and replaced with issues of fear, distrust, and doubts. To have unconditional love is to first love yourself entirely. When you can completely love yourself with all your imperfections, you will have greater love and compassion towards others. If you are in a space where your love is conditional, ask yourself, from where does this condition stem? Most often you will find limiting thoughts and beliefs lingering in your subconscious. Deeper still, you may uncover the wounded child within you. And didn't I say the sun showing here that you guys connecting with that inner child, right? I love these confirmations. It is to the, this child that love, understanding, and compassion must be shared. Now that you see the inner wounds within you, the gentleness of love, you are, with the gentleness of love, you are better able to see the wounded child within others. What was I talking about? Putting yourself in their shoes, guys. I cannot make this stuff up. You will clearly see the part of them that is most in most need of love. This does not mean that you stay in a situation that does not serve your highest good. Sometimes loving unconditionally means having to walk away. Your associated chakras are the heart and the sacral chakra. This is my right to feel. This is my right to love. And your affirmation is, I love all facets of my life and send any hurt or wounds within me, love and compassion. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck over here. Communication. Being honest and open, right? I love this, guys. I love I love this. Number nine, it's like bringing a situation to a close. It's not serving you. These thought patterns, this belief system, it's not serving you. It's only hindering your pro progress in life. And it's keeping you in situations that feel very cyclical and not you're not moving beyond them. 
right? Finding a way to listen to our intuition and really connect with that intuition that we have. And then we have here, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'll read a little bit. It says to truly be heard. One needs to practice the art of listening. Mm -hmm. This card has been revealed to you today to acknowledge the voice inside you that wishes to be heard and acknowledged. One of the biggest lessons we can learn in this lifetime is effective communication, communication that is clear and that does not assume that others can read our minds. Working both ways, the art of listening also involves being patient and open to the ideas of others. At times, you don't feel as though you're being truly listened to. This can cause frustration, agitation, and a stagnant whirlpool of energy to build within you. This frustration can sometimes cause you to be indirect, insensitive, and snappy. Okay, so they're asking you to listen. It takes time to rain to take the reins and break free from these energetic emotional mind games. Communicate truthfully about how you feel and express calmly with love what needs to be said. And these are connected, this card is connected with your solar plexus and your chakra. Your your chakra. Yeah, of course your chakra. Your throat chakra. Okay. Ah, uh, Mercury retrograde. How I love you. So really, guys, you're talking about connecting with the solar plexus, the heart, the throat chakra, the sacral chakra. This is a line in between your upper realms and your rootedness. And so right now you may not feel like you're being able to root into this world because you're having problem connecting with these internal chakras, which is what this journey is all about is getting you connected. Okay. But there's something about being very intuitive here and listening to your intuition and becoming authentic with yourself. Okay. Not with what others are showing you you need to be or how you think others think you need to be this is about truly listening to that inner voice and doing the healing and finding out your true essence which is unconditional love and then bringing that unconditional love to the world outside of you not saying i'm only going to love you when you make me feel good or when things are good between us i'm still going to love you when things are hard even if that means i have to take some space for myself hey i'm here for you i understand what you're going through I just need some space so that I can come at this from a clear mind, okay? So beautiful synchronicities on your reading today, guys. I absolutely love this. I cannot believe this. It's source just super amazes me all the time with this. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Even if you guys are just joining me for the chakra readings, I appreciate you guys just coming on for these. If you guys are here with the, the challenge, thank you so much for dedicating yourself to this journey. Like I said, I did this challenge first and it changed my life in such a short time in 30 days. It is something I designed and I decided to do because I don't want to ask you guys to do something that I'm not willing to do. So that's why I chose to do it before I ever released it to you guys. And I am doing it with you along the way as well. So it has already in just four short days brought even more change than I could have ever imagined. So I'm just excited to be here with you guys. I'm sending you out so much love and light. Hit that thumbs up button. If this resonated with you, subscribe to the channel, set that notification bell. I'll be here for you guys for the next 30 days. Let's find out where we go together. Okay. We're in this together in it to win it guys. I love you and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.